What is up, guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day. On this channel, I talk about cybersecurity, cloud security, and other life stuff. As you guys know, this year, one of my goals was to read at least a book a month, and I've been doing a consistent uh, stream of videos highlighting and reviewing the books I've been reading. And one of the books I recently read in the month of April was the book Ultra Learning. Uh, and this book is and an incredibly awesome book. I don't know what else to describe this book as because I think a lot of times we focus a lot on learning things, building your skills, but we tend to not really uh, look at how to learn things. Like we focus on learning things, but how do we actually learn things? And this book gives you the important principles that you can apply in terms of learning new things. The premise of all of this is to accelerate your career, master hard skills, and outsmart the competition. So in this video, we're going to be reviewing the book Ultra Learning by Scott Young. And um, I will title this video your Ultra Learning Cybersecurity Project because I want to apply each of these principles and use them as a baseline for anyone who wants to break into cybersecurity. I think you can use cybersecurity as an ultra learning project. So with that said, I will be going to this book. This is going to be a slightly longer video, but I think it's going to be worth it if you know can apply the principles of this book in building your cybersecurity career. So with that said, let's just dive right into the video. All right. So the writer of this book, his name is Scott Young, and basically he completed an MIT degree without actually going to MIT, basically by going through the curriculum. And that was the whole um, beginning of his ultra learning project, essentially finishing that degree in a way shorter amount of time that most people finish, finish uh, MIT computer science degrees. Well, that was what gave birth to this whole idea about ultra learning. And he went on to do other ultra learning projects of learning new languages and other things like that. So he explores a lot of things, um, a lot of ultra learning projects from other people. And from this was able to, to, to create nine principles of ultra learning. And um, the nine principles of ultra learning are number one, meta learning. Second one is focus. The third one is directness. The fourth one is drill. The fifth one is retrieval. The sixth one is feedback. And the seventh one is retention. Eighth one is intuition. And the ninth one is experimentation. And I will be going into each of these principles and how you can apply them to your ultra learning cybersecurity project. So let's just get right into it. By the way, I have um, some notes on this book on my personal website, thesecondworks.com. Um, I was able to get like a couple of chapters in, I think like the first, the first 10 chapters, but I eventually like lost some of my notes because Notion decided not to back them up. So, um, we could definitely get some value in the notes I have on my website. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Um, it's just some really, really, I call them like tweet storm style notes, uh, just picking out the important things from each chapter and from each principle. So let's get into the first principle. The first principle is meta learning. And basically what meta learning is, is just learning about learning, right? So um, basically just um, starting by learning how to learn the skill you want to do and uh, how you're going to tackle the subject you want to learn. So it's the, the premise of meta learning is learning how to do good research and how to draw on your past competencies to learn new skills more easily. So it's like drawing the map for your learning. And I think in applying this to your cybersecurity ultra learning project, the premise of using meta learning is basically drawing a roadmap of, you know, where, where am I going and how do I want to get there? And that starts from, you know, building from the fundamentals, learning the basics of like, you know, IT, operating systems, infrastructure, systems, all those things, and then building off, off of that to eventually get into where you want to go. Maybe that is like cloud security or like pen testing or like uh, forensics or incident response, but it's drawing a roadmap to where you want to go, creating a plan for uh, where you want to go. So that's the first thing about, uh, that's the first principle. It's meta learning. It's basically drawing a map. Second thing is focus. So in order for anything else in, in ultra learning to work, uh, you have to have focus. If you're trying to learn a new skill, because ultra learning is, is, an, is an extreme project. Like it's not easy. Um, there's a lot you that, you that goes into it, a lot of time, effort, um, energy. So it's going to be really demanding. And if you don't have your focus, then it's, it's going to be the whole point is, you know, essentially diminished. So focus is about sharpening your knife. It's about making sure that you have the right mental ut utensils for you to be able to perform your ultra learning project. So you have to be able to cultivate the ability to concentrate and also be able to carve out chunks of time where you can focus on learning and make it easy to just do it. So I think one book that actually helps help me with kind of like getting into focus was a uh, was deep work because like there's a lot about um how to like 
really, really get into that focused mindset and tuning out all the distractions. So if you really want to get into like the mindset of focus, I think a good book to read would be Deep Work. I did a review of that also for cybersecurity. Um, and I li- I'll leave a link to it somewhere on the screen. Um, so definitely check out that, that, that review and also read that book in terms of like focus. So that's the second principle. The third principle is directness. So directness is going straight ahead, right? Just getting into it. I think a lot of times we fall into the trap of overanalyzing, which you know people call analysis by paralysis, where you're constantly, okay, I, 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 I might use this resource or I might do this, I might do that. Uh, maybe I should go to school. Maybe I should do this certification. Maybe I should do this training. Maybe I should do this boot camp. Like you have so many things in front of you that you never actually make a decision to actually do anything, right? So the this principle, the, the basis of this principle, of this principle of directness is just get into something and just get right into it. So the point is you're trying to learn by doing so learn by doing the thing you want to be good at and don't trade it up for other tasks because those things are more convenient or comfortable for example like you want to learn you know how to for example like use linux right so you say end goal is for you to be able to like use the command line but like you procrastinate by maybe like just watching videos about linux or just like reading a book about linux without ever using linux without ever installing a virtual machine without ever doing anything related to linux that's you doing other things that are convenient or comfortable because you're not just willing to go straight ahead and that draws you back so the principle of directness means just forge ahead just get into it start doing it and learn as you as you're doing it learn by doing so instead of like procrastinating doing easy things because you know it's easy to take the path of least resistance because that way you're not pushing yourself but if you really want to get the most out of your ultra learning projects in cybersecurity go straight ahead, learn by doing, start something, start a project, and then just move on from there. And then that moves you to the next principle, which is drill. So you started, you started building the skills, you started learning things. You're no longer in the stage of like convenience. You're no longer trying to just be comfortable, right? You're actually doing stuff. Now it's time to actually start drilling, right? The, the, the principle is called drill and it means attacking your weakest point, right? So in anything, right? In like, you know, in the army or in school, like you have tests you have sometimes you have pop quizzes right in the army like they have like all their drills like daily exercises or whatever that they do and this is essentially to to improve practice and by repetition by consistent increase in in the intensity of what you're doing and what drill means is like you, you while you're doing something right there are definitely areas of that thing where okay you're strong at this but you, you find that oh I'm, I'm actually really weak at this right you t- sometimes we tend to like put a little more effort into what we're good at like okay i want to get better at this but we fail to actually um put time and effort into things we're weak at so the purpose of this of this principle is to attack your with your weakest points like it specifically says be ruthless in improving your weakest points. let's say for like defensive security right um you're trying to like you know eventually get like you know become a security analyst or a detection analyst or a is a responder right so you've been all the skills you, you've gone you, you've started like learning all the skills that are important uh you're good at like you know you understand operating systems but like you're really, really weak at lug analysis, right? You know, you're, you're good at everything else. You're good at, like, maybe, like, incident response, all these other things, forensics. But, like, you really, really suck at, you know, anal- analyzing logs. It's easy to kind of focus more on, okay, I'm, I'm going to do more incident response projects or, like, incident response labs or stuff like that. But, like, you neglect the log analysis, uh, you know, the log analysis piece of it because, you know, you're really weak at that. This principle encourages you to actually drill that particular weak point by finding ways to break down this complex skill or this complex thing into small parts and then master those parts and then build them back together so let's say you're weak at log analysis you can start from okay understanding like the purpose of log an- analysis and on, then start from like okay looking at really really simple logs right simple logs you can understand how the different pieces work together then okay looking at okay how to analyze logs with the sim or how to like you know analyze logs with like a different tool like just Break down what seems to be this complex skill that you're weak at into small pieces, right? Break it down and then build, and, and then separately work on those pieces and then slowly bring them back together to build it back into that one skill you're, 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 you're weak at. So that's the principle of drill. So the, the next skill is retrieval. And retrieval is about like actually test, testing to learn, meaning that you're learning to uh, be able to call this information anytime you need it, right? For example, if you're a security analyst and like, you're always forgetting like how to like analyze logs in the sim or like how to use like different queries. Like, you know, of course you can, you know, have like, you can Google things and stuff like that, but there's certain basic skills that you need to be able to like easily retrieve from memory, right? From maybe like easily retrieve like information about networking, like ports, stuff like that, right? Like 
th that's the premise of this principle. So basically, testing isn't like simply a way of just assessing knowledge, but a way of creating it. So it means like testing yourself in order for you to be able to like ensure that you're able to retrieve the information you're learning, right? So basically, test yourself before you feel confident and push yourself to actively recall information rather than passively review it, right? So like I said, it's easy to like, you know, go on Google to look for your things, but there's specific things you have to like, really have ingrained in your brain. So find ways to test yourself, right? In like, you know, your lab environments, find ways to like try to retrieve information, try to analyze things without, you know, looking for information on the internet or referring to resources you've used. And then make, push yourself to actively recall the information you've learned rather than passively just reviewing it, right? So that's the next principle. The next principle is feedback. So this is one I actually applied at my current role where I talked to, you know, my leaders about like getting feedback. And the whole premise of this feedback principle is, are you doing anything wrong? If so, what is it and how can you fix it? Or are you doing anything right? If so, what is it and how can you improve it? So those are your two ways like feedback is. So the whole premise of feedback, the whole principle of feedback is not dodging punches, right? So basically, like, if there's something out there that you're doing wrong, we're willing to take it. We're willing to take that punch in your face, right? For you to be able to learn that, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this wrong, right? How can I fix this, right? What can I do better, right? Trying to find ways to find feedback. And in your cybersecurity ultra learning project, like, your feedback could come from the community, right? Especially, like, if you've not gotten that job yet. If you've already gotten your first job or whatever... Asking your your leaders for feedback in what you're doing um, is is a great way to to be able to to receive those harsh and uncomfortable um, lessons and knowing how to use them without letting your ego get in the way right? because it, it's awesome when we're getting oh you're doing great you're doing this you're doing that you're doing awesome but there's also a time where you get that harsh and uncomfortable feedback like hey look you know you could have done this differently um, here's how you can fix it so learning how to accept that feedback without letting your ego get in the way is going to be really important because you've been all of, off, of, off of these things to become better at what you do and also being able to like tune out you know feedback in the sense that you, you're not necessarily always accepting feedback you're not necessarily always pursuing feedback like knowing where to go to get your feedback from right getting your feedback from the right resources and uh knowing what feedback to apply because you can't you can't accept feedback from everyone and you can't apply every feedback you get so being able to properly assess the feedback you get um is also really important in this principle so basically extracting the signal from the noise so you know what to pay attention to and what to ignore so feedback is really important um, i personally am applying it and i think um you know if you really want to get the best out of your cybersecurity ultra learning project then being able to find feedback is important and like i said feedback could be from like the community like you can make a project or like videos or whatever and look at what people are saying about it like ask them hey what do you guys think about this video what do you guys think about this project that way you can get you know feedback from you know what you're doing what you can do better or if you're in a community if you do something share what you're doing with the community like hey guys this is what i'm doing like do a presentation or whatever or talk and try to get feedback on what you, what, you, what you're doing what you can do better you know what you can fix or what you can improve you know all of those things feedback is really really important the next one is retention so so this also kind of ties in with um, uh, retrieval, right? In the sense that, so the, the whole point of retention is learning to remember things, not just for now, but forever. In the sense that in 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 your alternate project, like your goal is not to just like learn something for a specific period of your life. And then in the next how many months, like you, you don't know anything about it, right? So a, a good way for like retention is like you know through notes and continuous practice right so for example if you're learning a skill about maybe like a new programming language or a scripting language right your goal would be to like you know you don't want to learn this programming language today and like in the next three months you literally don't know anything about it so your goal might be to like do like 30 minutes of like coding every, every day or like maybe like a certain cadence in a week or a month just continuous practice and continuously referring back to that skill you're learning so that you don't ever forget it so that's the principle of retention the next thing is the next thing is uh intuition so this is where the skill is so ingrained in you like where it's like it's second nature right so your your, your goal will be to develop your intuition to play an exploration of concepts and skills and like understanding how understanding works so basically avoid having resource to cheap tricks and memorization to avoid deeply knowing things like and, and, and this applies to cybersecurity in the sense that some things should just be basic intuition, like especially like core concepts, like you know, core things in terms of like networking, like 
um, you know, systems. Like some things are just like intuition that you base off your you base your knowledge off, and you understand those things very deeply. Like you you you've dug deep into those concepts and you understand them deeply, and then you're able to easily apply them um for to other ideas, be it cloud, be it like you know pen testing, being like defensive security, being like protein, whatever it is. Like you're able to explore um various concepts based on like your fundamental understanding of these skills which is at this point in time right your intuition like you just intuitively understand these things right so that's the principle of intuition and finally finally the last principle is experimentation this is where you're you're exploring outside of your comfort zone so you're going beyond what you know what you you have learned or like you're going beyond like what you're comfortable with right so for like for example if you've been like doing defensive security for this whole time right you're you're going you're exploring more you're 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 branching out into like offensive security or like you're going into like learning more about clouds like experimenting with different things right going expanding your you expanding expanding your knowledge base and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone in order for you to gain true mastery over the the all in capacity thing you're trying to learn and in this case it's like cyber security so i try to make this as fast as possible i didn't want this video to be too long but like I said, this is your ultra learning cybersecurity project. I couldn't cover everything I really wanted to cover in this video. That's why like everything is like super fast and really straight to the point. But if you read this book, also refer to my notes, I think you can easily use each of these um nine principles to create yourself a really, really nice roadmap into breaking cybersecurity or into making a really, really awesome career out of your current cybersecurity pursuit. So with all that said, True mastery comes from not just following the paths laid by others, but also from exploring possibilities that you've yet imagined. These principles of ultra learning should be flexible guidelines and not rigid rules. Like you can easily, you can explore them in whatever you, way you want to want to explore them. So basically, you decide what you want to learn, how you want to learn it, and you craft your own plan to learn it. Like you take responsibility for your own learning. You are ultimately in charge, um, and you're the one who is ultimately responsible for the results you generate. So. Apply this, uh, this ultra learning principles. Um, definitely, definitely read this book. Um, I, I think it's a really, really great book, um, especially these principles because um, the, the author goes deeper into those principles and I, I'm able to go into them in this video. So you're gonna definitely get more out of this. So I hope you guys like this video. I really try my best to apply all of these principles to how you can turn it into a cybersecurity ultra learning project. I personally am on a current ultra learning project with cloud security where I'm applying its principles in, you know, becoming as good as I can be in cloud security. So, yeah, <sighs> I've said so much. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, and if you guys like these videos like this, let me know and I will try to do more of these. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.